much for joining us on the program. Thank you. Good morning. How are you? Great, thanks. So, financial success is all about emotions. Uh, what was your personal journey to this realization? Well, I, like most people, decided to go do a finance degree because I thought that I would be able to make more money from that. And then I went on to do my MBA at the Simmons School of Management in Boston, Massachusetts. And one of the things that really shocked me after that was that even though I had all this education, I still wasn't able to keep money or make a good living. And I was always so scared whenever I had money or didn't have money, which led me to start doing a lot more research on why this was. Because I started to notice that whenever I had money or didn't have money, I felt scared. There was always this unbelievable fear around money, any topic around money, talking about money, telling people how much money I had oh. or didn't have. And that's when I started to do the research around emotions and money. All right. So explain that link between the emotions and financial behavior. Okay. So one of the things that I started to do in my research was well, coming from a finance background was I started to do a lot of research on behavioral economics and a lot of research around emotional intelligence and also just the spiritual aspects of what money is. Looking at uh, authors from Napoleon Hill to Abraham Hicks to Byron Katie. And one of the things that I started to see was that every time we think a thought, we feel a particular emotion and that emotion influences our financial behavior. So for example, if we feel scared about money, one of the things that happens within our body is we have a physiological response, which is fight or flight. So we either want to run from whatever is causing our fear or we want to fight it. Unfortunately, money is a psychological fear. It's not a real fear that you can actually fight like you'd fight an animal in the old days. You have to just sit with it. And one of the things that happens when we have a, uh, such a psychological res uh, response is that the body produces hormones. And the more hormones that the body produces, the more imbalanced we get. And the more our behavior becomes about fight or flight. And one of us, and most of us just flight. You know, we get into the flight response, which means that we get into avoidance behaviors, uh, which leads more towards drinking, gambling, or just plain out never dealing with our financial issues. So we just kind of pretend they don't exist I'm and so we have get to into try and rush you a little bit unfortunately because we're <laughs> running out of time but what can we do to change it all then <laughs> well to change it all you just need to be very self-aware start yeah. being aware of your emotions and start being aware of your thoughts start questioning your thoughts and start uh, questioning the and start sitting with the emotions that you feel so if you feel fear or anger or frustration over money yeah. Don't run. Don't be reactionary. Just sit mm. with it and try to understand the underlying cause because the emotions are just a symptom and so is the financial behavior. And you'll never change your behavior unless you change the underlying cause wow. of whatever's driving the behavior. So, sounds like I need to go see a shrink. <laughs> All right. So uh, who's this book for? Is this, is this everybody's social stratas? Uh, everyone, who's it for? Well, this book, I would say, is for everyone mm -hmm. in terms of the person that's really interested in changing not just their behavior at the surface, but changing yeah. their behavior in the long run and for per uh, and permanently. Because most of us, what we do is we go out and we find techniques to deal with our financial yeah. problems. But the truth is that those techniques only work for a short space of time. It's like a yo-yo diet, you right. know? You're gonna diet for a little while and then it doesn't work because you're not dealing with the underlying causes. So this book is for people that are really serious about changing their finances and really serious about becoming calm about money and not just right. reacting to every financial problem. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there, but uh, I think it's a great read. Heart, Mind and Money, a book by uh, Vangile Ma Kwa Kwa. Thank you so much for your time. Thank All you. Right. Okay.